first impression You OPN We should be close to friends If you OPN Engaging is on my agenda Request okay. my cherry Today, guys, I'm going for a super extra extravagant Thanksgiving glam look. Start off with my brows. Now, this may get lengthy because I am going to talk to you guys. Hello. Hi. I came to talk. And the topic I chose, I just like literally walked into the house and I was just like, you know what? The black community. We're just going to talk about the black community because it's Thanksgiving and black people turn any holiday into their holiday so thanksgiving is definitely something that the black community does you know indulge in really high and um you know we like our turkey we like our dressing i mean i like my turkey i like my dressing room my macaroni and cheese so we're just gonna chit chat about that i'm actually just gonna start doing my brows which I always do these off camera. I don't know. It might be off camera today too. Because I don't want to be giving y'all like 30 minute videos. So what I'm using today is my Profusion Define Brow Palette. You can get these at TJ Maxx and Ross and department stores like that. I got mine for TJ Maxx for $6.99. This is a good brow palette, especially if you are a makeup artist. You see it has the, a spectrum of different shades for different ethnicities, colors. So I'm gonna go in with the Profusion um, Eyebrow Pencil in Ash Brown and just line my brows out. Um, of course, we're doing the popping ass brows because this is a popping ass look. But yeah, going back into the black community, we have a lot of you know I feel like every race has issues and problems um, ours are just broadcasted a little louder because we are a minority so it's focused on a little deeper and I mean that's fine I don't, you know, mind whatsoever. But here's some of the things that I have to say about the black community that I feel. And there's a lot of things that are positive and there are there's some negative things, you know. But everyone has negative things. Do not click on this video thinking I'm talking down about my people because I love my people. I need you to understand that. I'm not talking down on women because I love women. I need you to understand that as well. I'm just speaking facts, baby, because I'm always, I'm always speak the facts. And we don't need to get mad. We just need to be real. That's it. That's all. Okay, so you know i love um black twitter black twitter is bomb okay add me on twitter okay because it's lit i post um pics there too and um i'm just lit on there like my TL is lit as fuck. And the support I get on Twitter is just like all love because it's always somebody that I don't know because I really don't follow too many people that I do know on Twitter. So it's just always love when it comes from that angle because you know, you know people fuck with you just because they know you and they could not like have any good intentions for you not give a fuck about what you're doing and just like it or just share it but when somebody that doesn't know you shares and likes it it's just like okay i fuck with you it's love because you didn't even have to share my shit you just did because you like fuck with it you fuck with my actual talent and not you know just me so that's what i like that rendition of but black twitter is hilarious like <sighs> black twitter is the best thing that happened to social media i'm telling you but um there's a lot of 
love that goes across Twitter. Of course, there's hate, but uh, I set my Twitter up to only see positivity. Um, I, I rarely see negativity on there, and that's why I still have it. Because Facebook is a hot mess. Let's just tell the truth. Facebook is ratchet, it's ghetto, it's... Um, there, everybody on Facebook is nosy, drama, problematic, funny. Facebook is definitely funny, but I feel like my Facebook is like that because I'm following more of the people where I come from. And this isn't the best blended primer for the eyes that I can do, but let's just hope for the motherfucking best, okay? But yeah, back to what I was saying, there will always be like a forever battle against like baby mamas and baby fathers and ratchet baby mamas and ratchet baby fathers or baby fathers that don't even like take care of their kids. But um, it needs to stop somewhere. Like the generation, the generational curse needs to end where bitches stop being bitter and men stop... Um, not taking care of what's theirs. Hey. You should just know who you fucking for one. And. <clears throat> just. You know. Let's just. Know who you fucking for one. And. That would end it. Like. Bitches like to fuck. And just want to. Like claim a baby daddy. And that's not right. You can't do that. And then men like to, you know, fuck on anything. And then when it's time for responsibility, bounce. And that's a problem that majority of the minorities have. We got some white people that ain't shit. But it is a problem for the minorities. And it's always gonna look like we are dealing with more of the problem because we're a minority. It's always gonna be like that. You know what I'm saying? Next. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna go in with this BH. Um, Ultimate Matte 42 color eyeshadow palette because it is beautiful, honey. Like, look at all of that. I don't even know, I don't even know, I don't even know. Uh, when I look at this, I just get so much creativity that my mind just burst and then now I don't know what to do. I don't want to spend um, too much time on one topic. So I'm just moving on because I don't know nothing. I don't even know nothing about that, okay? I don't got no kids. I don't got no baby Zadi. I'm not no baby mama. So that's just like a thing that we need to work on as a community. Um, on from a bad note, um, what we bring to, to, you know what I'm saying? What the black community brings is like a lot of laughter and a lot of culture and a lot of healing through music. Like, that's what I love about my culture, how we can just heal and vibe through song. Like, not many people can do that. Um, and I want to say it started because of our ancestors and what they had to go through and they had to, you know, sing a song to get them through the day or, you know, a beat just came out of their soul from sadness or hardship or even being happy. Like, that's a gift. A gift. If you can, like, sing and rap about some shit that you have been through, like, it's a gift, because not everyone can do it. Um, our creativity, our color loving, like, I've never been a dull black person. I'm like yellow, green, orange, purple, red, blue, indigo, lavender, turquoise, hot pink, teal, it the fuck up, okay? Pour on the color. The more color, the better. The happier I damn near am. Because who doesn't like color? Like, you gotta be insane not to like color. 
you know? I feel like Bronx is my go-to color in here because um, I'm not gonna lie, some of the pricey palettes are boring. And that's why I don't buy a lot of them. This is boring to me. When I seen this, I went in. Do you hear me, sis? And this was half. Less than probably half the price of this. Like, sis, bring on the color. Not trying to, you know, discredit them or what they bring to the table because, I mean, people like new neutrals. My sister loves a, a good neutral. She does. But I'm like, sis, I need more. And I love how the black community comes together when we're hurting. Like Nipsey Hussle, for example. Or, you know, Mike Brown and Trayvon Martin. Some of the bigger stories. Um, a lot of black people came together and showed love off of um, just a, a sad story. Which is sad that we have to come together over a sad story. But, I mean, at least we did come together. Like, my city, a boy not too long ago got killed by the police. And I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't know what would make them kill him. They didn't disclose anything to let us know, like, okay, the boy was in the wrong and that's why he died. Nothing like that happened. You think the people where I live got up and protested? No, they didn't. Where I come from, they don't know how to love. Because it's a lot of shadiness that goes on in the hood. A lot of people are deprived and they hate you because you're not deprived. You know what I'm saying? You gotta watch your back and shit. And I feel like it's 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 made like that for us to kill each other. And that's not sad. And I'm not I'm gonna blame our lack of knowledge. I'm not gonna blame anyone a race i'm not gonna blame us i'm just gonna blame our lack of knowledge our lack of having things like we were deprived of a lot that we should have had to show us the way like my high school was shitty shitty you hear me i took four years of spanish and i don't know shit but see in Manana. I love our traditions and the way we do things and how we say it because hanging around different races um, allows you to see how different you are from everyone else. Like I can say something that I would say in front of my sister, that I would say in front of a different cultural person. They'd be like, huh? What did you say? You're like, sis. I mean, girl, come on, get with it. Like, I love our lingo and how we act and um, our culture and especially our cooking. Like, bro, our cooking, son, our cooking be the shit. Like macaroni, what? Baked macaroni. I know. I don't know who the fuck thought or who decided to put the baked macaroni in there. But I promise you, it was a black woman. It was a black fucking lady. But like, what's your favorite thing about Thanksgiving? Like, I know it's the food, sis, so don't even say the food. I wanna say that my favorite thing about Thanksgiving is um, time off because, uh, you know, working, you, when you work a lot, you lose focus of the things you really care about. And when you can get like that time off, that consecutive time off, I feel like you think more about life, especially when you're around a lot of people you love. You know, you, you think more about life and your goals and where you wanna be next Thanksgiving. So I take Thanksgiving as like planning time with my family because I feel like me and my family have a lot of, you know, goals and aspirations for this life so that's what i do of course i love the food of course i love you know spending time with my family <laughs> but you just get to look back on life and like just really start planning this shit out i feel like every community goes through hate but we have enough we experienced enough hate from 
the entire world. So one thing I want us to try to do a little less is hate on our own race um, and love them. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Shop with them. I know sometimes just because it is a black company don't mean that it is the best company, but you know, we can help build each other to that to that place because you know we weren't brought up from business owners and multi-millionaires and things like that so we need to start being the business owners we need to start being the millionaires for our our family that's how i feel right now all right you guys i went ahead and did my cut crease off camera because we didn't see that a million times you guys our own video or you know the next video will be drum roll it will be a simple thanksgiving look it will be a simple thanksgiving look um featuring every lashes all right <laughs> yeah but um so another thing i'm a little hungry Excuse me. I need some cheese on that. Another thing that the black community has a problem with is saving money. So, and this is not something that we were taught or um, brought up on, unless you were brought up on like that. But a lot of us, black people's thing is to look richer than you are so we spend a lot of money on how we look and weave and you know designer when you should be actually putting your money into something that you can gain because i can't gain from a weave unless i promote it so well that now i get free weaves for life or now i get commission off of anyone who uses my code and while you at it, girl, those new every lashes that I mentioned to you, use code Chinray15. Why would you ever? Why would you not? Okay? <laughs> but, yeah, we put our money money into things that we can't see money back. Hey, guys, since this is an extra dramatic look, I did put on the 25mm lashes. I don't think I'm a 25mm girl, honestly. I just want to be honest. But these are my best friend's lashes. Um, if you are a 25mm girl, you can go ahead and shop with her. Honestly, I think she has, um, smaller lashes too. And of course they're me. But, um, I threw these on today because it's extra. Thanksgiving, period. So, um, I've been struggling with my foundations because it is winter time, honey. It's supposed to be fall, but since fall has been skipped, it's winter, slinter, whatever you want to call it. Of course, my body was the first thing to get light, G. It was just like, baby girl, we, and... I don't know. I don't even know, girl. I don't even know. But I'm just going to mix these two. And hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully, it, it, it's some goodness going on. Right, sometimes I really get discouraged talking about topics because I feel like nobody listens to me anyway. So... Yeah, that way. So it is an extra, extra look. So, of course, extra, extra lashes. I mean, what? I mean, what? All right, so this is the part that I've been like, super, super excited about and waiting for. Back lips. But that's not where we're stopping because y'all know I'm super extra. And super extra... I'm going in with extraordinary, like you said. I'm going in with um some black glitter to go on top of my lips. Hmm. I'm 
done. I'm just doing my introduction next. And no, 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 no. You can't say you're done. <gasps> I didn't do highlight. Alexa, stop. When you don't do highlight, that's how you already know that it's a B to the BB. Because where is my highlight? So, I'm going to go in with... Um, Fenty Beauty Highlighter uh, Trophy Wife. It's all types of fucked up, but. We looking like a disco ball or nothing. We should be closer than friends. If you owe me. Of course, we're just going to set me free with the Morphe Miss Setting Spray, and then I'm all done, you guys. You guys, sometimes I get discouraged to talk, so that's why it's always like I'm chitter chatting a lot, and then at the end of the video, it gets a little silent. Sorry about that, I'm working on it. Mm, but uh, this is definitely an extra bitch Thanksgiving. This is an extra Thanksgiving look. It just is. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Of course, you enjoyed it. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. 